crafty friends and welcome back to Sandy's Creative Studio. So I know it's been a while since this video uh, has come out. Um, I have been working on some mixed media and some drawing and that's something that I want to incorporate into my crafts and I've been having a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of whimsical women and um, other things that I'm learning as well so I'm going to incorporate some of that like I'm thinking that maybe I want to learn some animals and maybe you know this is something I just thought of maybe I could do like an animal out of collage that would be cute you know just trace it out and then fill it in I think that'd be a lot of fun so I don't know I have some ideas so that'll be upcoming um, so today I wanted to do some journal cards. I wanted to put up something for you guys and I wanted to do something fun. Um, so this is interesting. This is something that I did a while ago and I don't know why I don't think I've seen a video on it. So I wanted to use up some of my washi because I have so much washi. So this is something I did. It's pretty simple. I just took some of the washi that I had and I punched out some different size circles. I didn't think of making little ones today, but anyhow, um, my punches weren't working. So this is like the third time I've done this video, tried to start this video. We got my voice is about gone. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then I had this, um, notepad or a uh, word pad. Um, it was a Tim Holtz. Um, ide ideology and anyway, um, so watch your words. Um, and I love this one love create tell the story and I think that's really nice in a journal so This is just something I started I started to make a card never finished so I thought I would do something like that now, um, this is something That I just pulled out when I got my index cards. Um, I have several of those but I was trying to find a dauber and I didn't know if it was pink or what color it was because sometimes they get a little mixed up. Um, so anyway, I found out that it was um, aged mahogany. So anyway, I have aged mahogany and I also have some pink. I have some um, Victorian velvet. I love these colors. So anyway, like I said, I was just testing my dauber, but I think I'm going to use this. Actually, in one of the videos that I started, I got that far. And I think it looks a whole lot better with having some distressed ink because I wasn't going to do that before, but I really feel like it needs something. And I'm going to do the same on this side because that's actually going to be the back. So when you pull it out of the pocket, it'll be ready, you know, for someone to journal on. And I want to do something pretty on the back side. So I actually got the um, the card upside down. So I, But I still wanted something on the back. So that's good. That's something to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and do some distressed ink on this one. And I have all kinds of ideas. I have all kinds of um, papers and ribbons. And like I said, I just took the different strips of washi paper and made those circles. I think I'll put this down here so I don't get it on my mat. My mat is messy enough as it is. <laughs> need a new mat. So there we go. I don't need a whole lot because I'm going to be covering some of it up. Actually, I do want a good bit because I'm going to be putting down my, um, my ribbon. Put that over there. I'm going to put my lid on it. I don't want it to dry out. Oh, I also have buttons. But I want to go this way with it. And I th just think that that looks really good. Okay, and maybe like a, a word or a phrase in the middle. 
Wish upon a star. Oh, I wish I know what I could do. This wasn't planned. This was something I just thought of. I have some stars, if I can find them, a stencil. There it is. Tangled up in all my other stencils. So yeah, I think I'll do Wish Upon a Star. And I think I'll get out my purple, because this is purple themed. I have my purple stays on. Okay, so I found some purple stays on. I could not find my distressed ink, so I'm gonna try my purple stays on, and I got a makeup sponge. So yeah, I think this will be a nice background, and I hope that this stays on works. I've never, um, I've never used a sponge to put it on before. And I don't want to use my, um, I don't want to use my dauber because I don't have one to put in purple. There we go. Oh yeah, that should work good. I was afraid there for a minute there was going on my table. Okay, so there we go. That works pretty good. Let me set that to the side. This will be nice because then I'll add these. Do I want to add one of these as well? And I think I want to put, I just want to put this down. I'm just trying to try some different things. Really like that. Um, I can put a butterfly. I could take a button. I don't know how well that one will do. So it has one of those things on the bottom. But I love this one. But yeah, that's not going to work for this project. Okay. Now I'm thinking about more butterflies. I have butterflies somewhere. I just had them. Like I said, my table right now is a disaster area. <laughs> okay, I found my butterflies. Sitting under one of my projects, one of my many projects. So I'm taking one of these instead. Okay. And I want to use Wish Upon a Star. Okay. I want to put down Border. Let's see, is there a certain way it goes? I think yeah, it goes this way. Okay, so 
I'm going to put down the border first. And I'm going to use Fabrifix. down Let's see I want to put some some here. There for now. I'll go ahead and get the other side. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. Oh, let me. Cut it there and then lay it down. Okay. Well, this is going to be a really nice border. Okay. And then one more across the top. There we go. I also have the word dream. I have smile. There we go. I may need to put a little bit more glue on it or maybe not I'll just let it dry yeah I like that I think that makes a real pretty border Let's see we're gonna go with this one and And I just feel like it needs something more, maybe a button at the top, but this button has a thing on it, um, a shank. That would be nice. I think, you know, just something little um, makes a big difference sometimes. And I'm looking to see if I want anything else. Sometimes it's hard to stop. Well, that's pretty trim. But I'm not going to use that. I just feel like I need a little something behind that one. 
No, I'm not going to use the Rick Rack. Uh, let's see. I may be some other, some other kind of fabric. Maybe one of these and put that in the center. I do have a smaller one. Let me see. Put the lid on my stays on ink here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't have another button. Okay, let me go ahead and glue these down. And I'm going to use my Yoohoo stick for this. And I'm thinking as I do this, what I want to put underneath the other one. But I like it just like that. And I also have all kinds of, of ribbons, all kinds of ribbons. I have one with hearts. Maybe I could cut a heart and put it, put a heart under it. No, I don't think it needs a heart. Maybe just a piece of ribbon. One thing is I have my ribbons here, my small pieces of ribbon. I keep them in this John Deere tin. Let's see if we can find something that'll work. I have, I have this. No, that's not going to work. Maybe just some lace. Oh, I like this. Let me cut a piece of this and see what I think of that. Or doesn't need it at all. Oh, I know what it needs. I need some more butterfly trim. That's what I need. But instead of doing a lot, I think I'm going to just cut three of them. I hate to use too much of that. I love it. And I can put them in the corner. Here we go. Sometimes it just takes a little play to figure out what you want. And... Didn't seem like ribbon was getting it for me. I wanted something different. All right. It just seemed like it needed something else. Oh, no. I forgot to put glue on it first. <laughs> so let me do that. And then I think I'll do one more. I'll put him here. Or do I want him up here? I like him right there. All right, and then I'll put him, the butterfly. Like I call my work him. <laughs> oh, that's so cute to me. And I'm definitely, it needs a word. Definitely, I think so. Oh, where's my lid? Yoo-hoo, it will dry out. I don't want it to dry out. So I have the butterfly. I have this butterfly. And my word, I was going to do wish upon a star. No, oh, I like live your dreams. But where did I put that? Because I really like that. Uh, had it. Is this it? Wish upon a star. Yeah, it just has to be that because of the stars. Oh no. It, um, it's trying to wrinkle. 
Let me lay it down and see if I can put some ink on it. Yeah, I'll put a little bit on there. Perfect. I didn't need a whole lot. So, some glue on that. And one, one down. When you have so much stuff and you want to use your stuff and try and um, just use what you have, sometimes it's a surprise what you come up with when you have a lot of stuff. And one thing that I like that I've been working with a lot are markers and pencils. And I have some of those over here. And I'm thinking that I want to um, make a border around it with my Stabilo. I am loving my Stabilo pencil. So yeah, I want to make a border. And I'm not gonna wet it, I just want it to have a border. And I have been loving doing eyes and doing people. Um, they're not serious portraits. They're not supposed to be realistic. They're just a lot of fun. Um, like she's got some fairies I want to practice. There. I like it. it. Turned out pretty good. Okay, so... Let's see what we can come up with for another one. I'm just going to do one more. So cute. Okay. Now what can we do with this one? I'm going to have to put some more, um, some more distressed ink. Let me put some around the edges. I cannot find my purple. I would love to distress it with purple. What if I have any little? I don't think I do. Because I have a lot of little ones. And I know that I have a full size purple. So, okay, I'm not seeing it. I'll use the pink. So maybe I'll make this one purple and pink. Well, I guess the other one turned out to be pur purple and pink too. So I have blue stuff too I could use. I actually thought the first one was going to be purple and blue. Like I said, you just never know when you have a lot of stuff what you're going to use. Okay. Put some on this side. I love to do the corners like that. Ring around them, I guess. Keeps on the bend. All right. Oh, I guess I got to get the back side too. A little more ink. The back side. And I just want to have enough to have a pretty border on this side.
couple more here. I think that's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna work on this side. I might do a little collage. I might or might not. Here's my girl. My daughter came in to see me. Yeah, there's my girl. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to do collage. I have some of this. I like that. Put that in the center. What else can I use? Oh, I wish that was a bird. I could do a butter and a butter. <laughs> I could do a bird. A bird and a butterfly. That'd be nice. Oh, I could use that one in the corner. Now if I'm doing this and the butterfly, then I want, what else do I want? Do I want another butterfly? I was thinking about birds. Just seeing what I have here. Um, okay, we know I need a word. I wish I had one that said fly. Let's see if I have something like fly. Believe in yourself. I like that. I like believe in yourself, I think, more. Um, let's see. Flipping through some stuff and seeing if there's something else I can use. I like that one, the blue one there at the end. Let's see what else. Maybe I have some stamps. Not stamps. Nope, those aren't the right color that I want. Okay, well, my punches aren't so great right now. Okay. Okay, well, I was looking for a book that I have that has fairies and mermaids. I don't know where I put that. But while I was looking for that, I came up with something really nice. I have this book. And it's, uh, Stampiri is uh, Imagine. Um, it is, I'm trying to tell you the size, they are 8 by 8 inches. And it's got some beautiful things in it. So I want to show you that. That's what I cut it out of. I absolutely love that page. That is going in a journal soon. So anyway, oh, look at this one. That's beautiful. So I found this one, and I thought since I'm doing words, I thought that could go right there. Let me round that a little bit. And here has it has some words as well. I might put a couple of those words on it. I need my scissors. I and I messed up that in just a little bit when I was cutting it out. Okay. Okay, so let's do that much. And I'm just laying it on this um, page so I don't get anything else on my desk. All right. Oh. There we go. My lid is off again. 
don't remember doing that. <laughs> okay. This was actually from the Stamperia pad. This was off the front cover. Save everything. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I do. That's why I have so much. And I really got to organize. <laughs> but you never know what you might need, you know? What might make something perfect. The last touch, you know? All right, so... I love that side too. I hate to put it down. Wow, I really hate to put it the the other way now. Okay, I have that down. Is that coming up? I want to come up a little bit. Okay. Now let me put the lid. Oh, well, that's the lid of my ink. Where did it go? <laughs> okay, now I want to put the lid on my ink real quick. All right, so. I say I was going to do live your dreams. I like that. I think that's what I was going to use. And then I have imagination has no limits. I could add that. Oh, I want to put some ink on that. Like I said, I, I, this is Probably part this yeah, this is part of the cover. Alright, I'm gonna put some right there. Oh yeah. I think that looks good. Put those down. Alright, oh, this one needs a little bit too. I love this. What did I say it was? Victorian velvet. I love it. Okay, so let me glue these down. You who again? Oh no! I didn't know it was bad out. <laughs> I'm still gonna use it. If your dreams. Imagination has no limits. I'm gonna put that down. in there. I love doing collage. Let me see. So I want to put art. Mm. I like that. This has got dream in here, but I also have my new stamp. I think I'm going to use my stamp and I'm going to put that in the purple. Make sure you guys can still see. Great. Okay. I think it's time to get some more Yoohoo glow stick. Nice. Oh, I love that. I'll be using a lot of that. I just had to use it. I mean, it just came in the mail. Put it there. <laughs> To help clean it off. All right. Now I need something to go around this as well. I don't want to use the same trim. Maybe I could just just use this around the top, and that would be enough.
Yeah, I don't want to overdo it. And I love this. Okay, it's that one. I make sure I cut it at the right place. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glue. Where did I put the glue? I was really going to use the um, words that I cut out, but I had to try out that stamp and I really like it. And I got another one coming. I got Imagine. I have several stamps and I had a few words, but not enough words. I still want to get notes and journal, but they're hard to find. There. I like it. Uh, and maybe put one of these in the corner. I like it. All right, oh, it's got something there. Oh, it's got a, um, a staple or whatever you call that. Might be okay. It might be okay. I might not have to take it out. All right, I'm not going to bother with that. I think it'll be okay. I'm going to cut myself. I love to use buttons and flowers. It just needed something else. I just feel like they need a finishing touch. So there we go. Let me throw that beautiful thing away. And I have more. I'll probably be making more. <laughs> I mean, I want to use up some of this stuff and make something pretty. But I really like the idea of putting the, um, the washi together and cutting it out. I mean, I can still use these for something that does have a, um, a wrinkle, but I can always put something on it to cover it up. Hi, baby. So I think she's trying to tell me something. She's got to go outside. She's got to go outside. And I hope you guys enjoyed this today. Um, I hope you guys will try the washi tape. Um, try this out or find some other way to use washi. Um, and I'd love to know what you do with your washi. Because um, I would love to learn more ways to use it. And I know I can put it down as borders as well. But anyway, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did as well. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to check out more videos. Thanks and bye for now.